Hello and welcome back to the Gaming Source Network. My name's Dom and today we're starting a new series called Deep Dive in 5. This series is all about giving you a taste of the games that I'm a big fan of and we're starting with Mortau on GeForce Now. Mortau, as described on Wikipedia, is a multiplayer medieval hack and slash fighting game. Developed by Tritonion and released in 2017, it is focused on hand to hand combat, with a huge range of weapons including maces, hammers, double handed swords and even spears. There are also ranged weapons available for those that like bows and crossbows. Matches take place in vast battlefields with up to 40 players per side. There is a selection of game modes, or to be honest, many to turn into team death matches in the middle. Combat is often an exhilarating mix of madness and skill. Weapons are constantly swinging and you are required to duck, dip, dodge and weave between attacks while swinging your own weapon. Being patient is probably my number one tip. Often the more experienced players simply wait for you to go all hands swinging and quickly take advantage of this. Wait for your enemy to make a mistake and then pounce. It is also uncanny the amount of unintentional kills you get. There are a number of starter classes available with a range of weapons. However, once you are a bit more confident, custom classes can be created. There's an absolute ton of cosmetics in this game to make your knight or warrior look exactly how you want. This includes editing your avatar to have black eyes, facial hair and editing their voice, including the pitch. In order to unlock weapons, they must be purchased with gold, which is earned by playing matches. Once the gold is earned, choose the weapon you wish to unlock and bravo, it's now yours to use. There's a point system to stop players carrying huge weapons and huge shields at the same time. Think of it as almost like weight. Not only this, but there's perks which give small advantages throughout the battle. And again, these are kept balanced by our point system. So how does combat actually work? Well, this game currently only supports keyboard and mouse, as the aiming system is completely reliant on the mouse. If you look closely in the middle of the screen, you will see a small reticle with a line moving around the outside. That line is the direction of your mouse. If the arrow is pointing left, you will swing your weapon from the left. If it is pointing right, you will swing from the right. This takes a bit of getting used to, but quickly becomes second nature. There are also stab attacks. By scrolling the mouse wheel forward and right clicking will allow you to block. Advanced players will learn the feint technique. This will trick other players into blocking, which only lasts around half a second, and you can't spam it, and allows for a quick attack after their block is finished. The combat is intense and can be daunting, but is truly rewarding if you put the time in. Personally, I'm a bigger fan of the longer range weapons, such as spears and halberds. These allow me to swing from a distance to try and stay safe. Unfortunately, that doesn't always pan out and you die a lot. And I mean a lot. See what I mean? The player base has shrunk over the years, but there are always servers with players in. The game has a dedicated poor player base that stuck with the game since release in 2017 and the game can be a little bit punishing for new players going against those experienced players. My best advice of starting out is to complete the tutorial a few times to learn the combat and then just turn off the chat box so you don't get any silly messages from those experienced players. The player base does enjoy a little bit of trolling, I did that with air quotes, but a lot of the time they are genuinely funny and they're not trying to do harm. For instance there's a bard class and if you're playing on Steam on a PC, you can install a mod which allows you to play any song you wish. I have memories of charging into battle with Spice Girls being played next to me, and the experience was surreal but fun nonetheless. If huge battles aren't your style, there are also 10 player dual servers. These are often full of rules and respect, allowing two players to fight to the death, but occasionally they can turn into all out death matches. This is where I found it best to hone my skills ready for the bigger battles. The combat on these servers is much slower and methodical, and it really helped me understand the core mechanics of the game. So there you have it. That was my deep dive in 5 into Mortal. Please let me know if you enjoyed this content, and any feedback would be massively appreciated. I've been Dom on the Gaming Source Network. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and check out the rest of our content on this channel. Peace.